Rain over the past week has many East Texas fire officials and county leaders backing off from considering new burn bans. That being said, there is still a risk for wildfires. KLTV 7's Bob Hallmark has more on how conditions could change rather quickly. Russ County Fire Marshal Patrick Dooley gave an update at Commissioner's Court to state that they are out of immediate danger, but did urge caution that conditions could change quickly. Whether it rains or not, um, the the push that we've seen right now is we're cooling off. Lots of folks did receive some very beneficial rainfall. Unfortunately, uh, many of us in our region didn't get anything. Late August, early September rains cooled the KBDI or Keech Byram drought index so that levels are under 600 now, meaning ground fuels such as grass and underbrush have moisture at acceptable levels. Middle to end of August, we were sitting around 676, I think the highest is what we got. Mm. KBDI this morning was sitting uh, for Russ County as uh, 550, but you still have the fuels on the ground. In spite of a wet July, August turned to scorching heat and dry conditions, increasing fire danger, and northern East Texas counties did not receive as much rain, meaning they are still at fire risk. Remain pretty dry. Uh, they missed out on a lot of the, the beneficial rainfall that we received. It's a matter of watching the weather. Obviously, our forecasted rains over the next however long period we're looking at. And a cold front is coming, which may not help. But with that, it's going to bring some wind and some lower humidities, which could contribute to uh, the ongoing fire danger that we're seeing. Bob Holmark, KLTV 7 News. Dooley says it's not unusual for East Texas to have fire danger in the fall and the winter if conditions dry out, which has happened in the past.